I wasn't paying attention because uh, my heroes are here. <laughs> she goes, I'm just meeting, but I sure do uh, like their style. From rocketwrangler.com, we have Daniel uh, Coley, the founder, and Jonathan Craig, the author of an article that uh, <laughs> stirred things up round here a couple of weeks ago like we haven't seen done in a long time. And it sure caught our eye and a lot of other eyes. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Stephen Deedy Show. How are you? Good. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Good to see you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you guys just, and I mean this with affection, you just look like trouble. <laughs> they do. You look mischievous in a smart way. You're exactly what I expected. Yeah. You have a big bang theory. I, I look, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they'd be sitting back in the room, observing everything, and then yeah. getting ready to st- put a stick in it and stir it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Daniel, you're the founder. You're the founder of RocketWrangler.com, uh, described as a parody news site. That fair? That's correct. I think the Onion. A fair, fair comparison. It's a fair comparison. Yeah. Okay. And I love on Facebook when those things get posted <laughs> and people go crazy because they buy it. And it's always amazing to me. And then finally somebody says, hey, wait a minute, guys. You might want to check the source on this, which just ruins it. It kind of ticks me off when that happens. So why did you why did you start the site? What prompted it? Okay. I've always enjoyed satire. Yeah. Satire is my favorite thing. My favorite movie is Dr. Strangelove. Sure. Uh, Great satire. Uh-huh. And there hasn't... There wasn't a source of satire in Huntsville. That's right. Uh, we, you know, there's not an onion for Huntsville or anything like that. And so in May, I decided to go ahead and start this, and I had several good writers with me, and we've been working at it since. Now, right. you're a professional comedian, correct? Professional in that I get paid money on occasion for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't make, like, a living off of it yet. I no. see. Okay. Uh, and you're just, where were you described? Were you described as Huntsville's best dress or the best dressed comedian? That's correct. I'm Huntsville's best dressed comedian because we all can't be funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm not the best dressed comic today because I'm not wearing a suit and tie, but I always perform in a suit and tie. Do you really? Oh. That's my trademark. Yeah. Good for you. I was voted Huntsville's best dressed morning radio personality. But you look at two. But today I'm in a black T-shirt and <laughs> sweatpants, so I apologize. That's okay. All right, and introduce us to your sidekick here who really made us aware, and I'm sure many other people, of Rocket Wrangler. Okay. This is Jonathan Craig. He is the author of the uh, Downtown Stadium piece. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> hey, Didi. When you wrote the Downtown Stadium piece, which we'll explain in just a minute in case anybody missed it, and we're going to link all this up on Facebook for those of you that want to like follow and get involved, because trust me, it will make you smile every day. MyStar99.com on Facebook, or MyStar99 on Facebook. Uh, Jonathan, when you first wrote this Downtown Stadium article, did you have any clue it was going to uh, accomplish what it accomplished? I had no clue at all. I, at best, I hope that maybe some of my friends might read it and laugh. <laughs> I didn't think like over 36,000 people would actually read the article and you didn't uh, envision Tommy Battle and the city council sitting down <laughs> debating it? No, I, I, and I heard some crazy stories about it, too, oh, actually. Yeah? Uh, one of the guys, the city planner, actually, uh, was getting calls, and he had no clue about it. <laughs> and uh, he, he actually received an email from uh, the city council office asking who uh, who this city planner was and why wasn't she fired already. And what, <laughs> what did you name her, the city planner? We Do know. you remember? Uh, it's Tiffany Dungmeyer. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> there is no Tiffany Dungmeyer, right? Uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't work for the city of Huntsville, does she? You, you couldn't have picked a better name. I know. That, the first thing that made me laugh out loud about the whole thing was the city planner Tiffany Dungmeyer. <laughs> <laughs> and then I kept, I'm bad with names, honest to God, so I'm trying to tell people about your article. And I kept going, yeah, and they named the city planner Denise Turdknocker. <laughs> he could never come up with a real name. And Dee would go, Dungmeyer. <laughs> I love it. Producer Bob. I was at that city council meeting. That's the one I went to when I told you when they were debating whether. Oh, you were there? Yeah, well, I remember the two stories. The one where they didn't allow the Wiccan witch person yes. to do the thing. Yes, yes. And the other story was somebody told me, is like, I said, what's going on with the cameras? The Wiccan said. witch of the South? Yeah, well, the other story was them saying, hey, they're building a new stadium because the other stadium can't get finished, and yeah. they're debating it. And I said, what? At the city council meeting. I said, how much? 
They had some seventy million dollar no, project no, no, no. they're debating. I thought that then, too. It was bigger. Right? Yeah. You, to paraphrase the article, if 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 you would, that you wrote for yeah, for Rocket uh, Wrangler. Basically, the announcement was made that uh, they're going to the city planner is going to build a, a seven hundred and fifty million dollar seven hundred fifty million sportsplex <laughs> uh, right down in beautiful downtown Huntsville, Alabama, in our beloved Big Spring Park, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they were going to get the funding ninety percent of it through Kickstarter. That was. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> yes, for donations. Exactly. <laughs> so, can I ask? A, don't be offended. How much pot had you smoked when you wrote the article? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> none. So, Daniel, this was all your idea in terms of founding the Rocket Wrangler. Did you guys? At what point did people connect the dots and realize this was a phony? This was a news parody, and then trace it to you guys. Okay, so we published Wednesday evening at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. and by the time I went to bed that evening, there were about 3,000 views on the website. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Woke up that following morning, and uh, it was still going up, still going up, still going up. By the time people finally realized, over 30,000 people had viewed the article, <laughs> and it was Thursday, that Thursday afternoon before the news had to address the issue. So for a good almost full day, people were bought it. People were buying into it. Oh, and that's the, great. The fact, when you do a parody news site like Rocket Wrangler in Huntsville, the fact that the news is forced to address the issue, mm -hmm. the news which so often takes itself so freaking seriously, uh -huh. that has got to be a badge <laughs> of honor. It, when the fake news, when real news has to cover fake news, it's awesome. It's, it is. That's great. That's great. I mean, if... John Stewart would high five you if he heard about this. <laughs> really? That would have been that would be awesome. I mean, it just absolutely. Now, what do you do for an encore? And do you have to lay low a little while? I mean, what do you do? Well, we're going to have all new articles. Well, I guess you can't tell us what you're going to do for an encore. We have all new articles this entire week. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Every single day. Rocketwrangler.com. Rocket-wrangler.com. Rocket-wrangler.com. And you're on Facebook too, right? We're on Facebook and Twitter as well. Mhm. Mm okay. And what about the restroom? I was telling Steve about the best rest, uh, the best place to uh, take a whiz in Huntsville and the Monaco one. <laughs> was that your idea, Daniel? I didn't write that. A fellow comic by the name uh, Thaddeus Blake, he wrote that article. And where is the best place to go in Huntsville, new number one? Monaco Pictures. It, Monaco, 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 Monaco Pictures. Pictures. Will they get like a plaque or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about that. <laughs> Look, you guys, are, uh, you guys have been so successful so far, there must be a plaque budget. <laughs> It'll be brought up at the city council meeting. Yes. <laughs> we're taking sponsors now. Yeah, what? We're, we're actually we're, we're accepting sponsors now for the rocket wranglercom If anybody just email us at the website. I don't think that'll oh, be a problem. I think wow. you need a radio station sponsor. Jeez. That's great. That works. We'll come in every week and talk to you guys about it. We'd love that, actually. Don't the, only tease us. the only problem is, I don't know if anything you've told us is true. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you guys, when they came in, Daniel has an unusual spelling of his last name. And I'm like, how do you pronounce that? Uh, is it is it Coley? He got, yeah, and uh, Jonathan's last name is Craig. And, and what did you tell us? Your and said Jonathan, and you said your last name is pronounced how? Kraj. <laughs> I love these guys. I do too. So Dee Dee asked you off the radio. Do you have real jobs? Do you? Uh, is no, this it? no. This is for me. This is it. Yeah. Well, hey, look. You know, Matt Drudge started this way. I do have a real job on you, the other hand. You, what do you, can you tell us? What you do? I work at the Space and Rocket Center. I'm, nice. Are you serious? I'm serious. That's all I'm going to tell you, though. But yeah, I work there. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center. The U.S. Space and Rocket you Center. You know who comes on the show and is just a... Uh, uh, a joy. A joy? <laughs> Dr. Uh, uh, Barnhart. Barnhart. Deborah Barnhart is, is like a friend of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever heard her on the show? I have not. You've no. never heard this show, have you? Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> that's, that's fine. <laughs> she comes on this show and gets crazy. Talks about her tattoos, her muscle cars. Drinking beer. And people that work over there have told us it's two different people. She shows up over here. She's tough. She's all business. She comes in here. It is party time. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm serious. Does she know about the Rocket Wrangler? She will now. She they, listens. They do now, yeah. The, she will love this. Oh, yeah, we had an article uh, about a week ago about the Saturn V replica going to be launched into space. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> they know about us now. This is Dr. Deborah Barnhart, CEO of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville. You're listening to Steve, Dee Dee, and producer Bob, the spaciest people I know. Yeah, there you <laughs> There's your there boss, you man. How about that? So just give us just briefly, real quick, a couple of the uh, other articles that have appeared at Rocket Wrangler so far since the launch. 
Sure. Uh, let's see. We have, a, <clears throat> excuse me, about the Huntsville Police Fitness Program. <laughs> what oh, about no. that? Basically, we are going to have the Huntsville Police run a 40-yard dash in place of a court trial <laughs> if you ever get a traffic ticket. <laughs> After a study revealed that the police officers were getting a little too heavy, a little too fat. <gasps> oh, goodness. <laughs> There's that, also that one hurts me a little bit for obvious reasons. <laughs> also, an article. This was just me having fun about a June bug who doesn't know which corner of the room to fly into repeatedly. <laughs> that yeah. was funny because it does happen. Those little bugs, little beetles, get in your room and they're hitting the walls. Right. It's like, where do I go? That was hilarious. There's another one about the. Uh, this was written by Blair Scott, fellow comic. About there was a fight at the Huntsville Medical Mall. Oh, no. Over which television station was playing, we had they had MSNBC <laughs> and Fox News on both at the same time. And everyone decided to start a fight over that. <laughs> that could happen. That's what makes all this stuff so terrific. It could happen. It could. Have you said no to a story? Have you said no to a writer that maybe brought you an idea? If like Jonathan comes in and says, "Hey, here's what I want to do," and you're like, "Oh God, we can't." Not at the moment. Oh, <laughs> Not yet. Good. good. I was hoping you would say that. Not too much censorship. All right, everybody. These guys are bright and they're funny. Hit it because mm-hmm. you're going to enjoy this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's for all of us who think we all take life a little too seriously. Rocket-Wrangler.com. Rocket-Wrangler.com. We'll link it up in uh, case you need it later for reference on uh, Facebook at MyStar99. Would love to maybe have you guys come in or just call on a Friday and uh, lay some uh, phony news on us. Yeah. <laughs> Be cool. Yeah, we can do that. We got a deal. Awesome. Yep. Beautiful. Love you guys, man. Very cool. Love you too. (laughs) Thanks for having us. I just hope we don't make the next issue.